Tiku 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 tiku. Would you like this one? Some cauliflower. So we've come to this fully plant-based restaurant called Afterglow, which has amazing reviews. We've got lentil flaxseed nuggets with a garlic cashew aioli, which looks amazing. And we also have their signature kimchi sushi rolls. And we've also got some cauliflower bites. Everything looks really good here. The kimchi sushi rolls were divine. They were so nice, really good balance of flavors. The flaxseed nuggets were Guy's favorite. They're pretty good. Cashew aioli was really nice. We're gonna be heading to Little India. The bus stop's literally right outside our hotel, which is super easy. And we're just gonna go and get something to eat. It's supposed to be a really good area to get good food. So you can see on Google Maps where the bus is in live time, which is really cool because then you can just wait in the aircon, unlike what we're doing right now. Also, the really good thing with the buses is that you just tap on with your card or your mobile. We've just got the bus to Little India and already it seems like such a cool place to explore. I'm really loving about Singapore, the distinct areas and how different they all are. We're gonna go check it out and we'll bring you guys along to have a look. Just got some samosas from a little street vendor. They smell amazing, hopefully they're as good as they smell. They were $2 each, not crazy cheap, not crazy expensive, but they'll be really nice. We've come to Kamala Villas, which is a really cool vegetarian Indian restaurant, which was established in 1947. So it's got a massive history, really good reputation, and everything's served on banana leaves. So traditionally what it was like back in 1947. We've got a rice meal, which was $11, and this is how much food you get. Wow, everything's so fragrant. The doso is perfect. It just tears apart and it's got that crispy outside. And then all of these like little individual curries are just so good. I'm probably doing a disservice by calling them curries because they're all different individual things. But yeah, it's amazing. So, so good. What do you think, guys? Is it nice? really feels like we're in Asia now. We feel like we're back in India, whereas other parts of Singapore have felt really westernized. You could be in any major city in the world, but this really feels like we're in India and it is so cool. Yeah, and considering we had to cut our trip short, it's really nice. It's kind of like the last place that we were before COVID happened was India. Now we're back. <laughs> it's kind of emotional. And also it's been raining, which means that the heat is broken and we are so grateful. I thought we'd acclimatize, but we hadn't. It's just much cooler than it has been. <laughs> yeah, definitely not as muggy and it's so much cooler. We've come to our first hawker restaurant. This is the Liao Fan Hawker Chan in Chinatown. We've ordered some bean sprouts, seasonal vegetables. They've got like a garlic shallot dressing. We are excited to start trying some Michelin star food. This place has a one star Michelin rating and it is the cheapest hawker place you can eat at in Singapore. So yeah, we're excited to try it. Yummy. This place is famous for their soya chicken, so if you are vegan or vegetarian like us, it might not be the best option. We're having vegetables and I'm happy with that, but we will definitely be trying some of the other more vegan, vegetarian friendly hawker places while we're in Singapore. Yummy. Trying all these new things. The guy is doing so well with trying all the new foods. She's trying to use chopsticks, she's not even two, and she even got some in her mouth earlier, and she's just trying everything, and it just makes me realize why I love traveling, because for Gaia, this is such a great experience to try foods, cultures, etc., and she's doing so well. It also just reminds me why we wanted to travel with her. Like, this is such a great education. She is exposed to so many different things that we wouldn't typically have at home. You're such a good traveler, aren't you? Is that yummy guy? She's just doing so well. Bye. I do not 
not feel fancy enough for this place. It is so nice. <laughs> We have just come to Rackles, which is a very famous and iconic hotel in Singapore. And it's famous because they invented the Singapore sling, and that is what we have ordered. Not a great place to come with a toddler, but we'll have one drink and then we're off. Having worked in motels for a number of years when I was younger, coming to Raffles and having a Singapore sling is honestly one of the top things I've always wanted to do. It's amazing. The balance of the drink, flavours, everything is just spot on. Bartenders here are exceptional. Everything about this place, the ambiance, the atmosphere, it's just incredible. The history of this place is so amazing. Ernest Hemingway used to write here. The whole thing about throwing the monkey nuts on the floor. The stories of the lion that got loose in the ground, which we still don't I don't know if it's true or not. I definitely think we'll be coming back here with Guy when she's old enough to have one herself. However, the vintage cocktail is 37 Singapore dollars, which for us, when we're on a budget because we're traveling for a long time, we only managed to get one between us, but that was the compromise that we made because we knew we really wanted to come here. Oh, amazing. We're at Lao Passat, which is a, a hawker venue with lots of different individual vendors and it's fantastic. There's so many cool options. It's a really good vibe. Think, is it actually vegan when I try something that tastes like meat or a meaty texture? It's delicious. We're at Genesis Vegan Restaurant. We just stumbled upon it by chance, right across the road from our hotel, downstairs in a food court. We have got some dumplings, which is their signature dish, and some black fungus. I expect it to be just like a mushroomy texture. It's probably a bit more rubbery, but really nice and got lots of health benefits. And the dumplings are delicious. We paid $6.60 for the dumplings, and we paid $4.50 for the black fungus. And we're just having this as a pre nat snack and sharing these two dishes between the three of us. Gaia is, as always, doing a really great job of trying new foods. And I'm stoked that we found a vegan place so close to our hotel. And they have dairy-free ice cream, which Gaia is gonna be so excited for. Is it good? come out to a place called Love Handle. It is a fully plant-based butcher here in Singapore. Josh was having a bit of a rest this afternoon, so Guy and I came out by ourselves. But as soon as we got here, I sent him the menu and he is on his way to join us because it looks so good. Foxy's come out with us today. Excited to see what it's like. No. Like this? <laughs> like this? <laughs> like, like this? <laughs> Holy smokes, that's good, guy. Right? Mm, and the sauce. I've just tried the first bite of that burger and it was amazing. I'm not normally a burger fan. It was so good. I'd actually say best burger I've ever had. Big call. Cool. What do you think, Gaia? Oh, it's 
so good, so refreshing. I got lime juice, it's high dose of vitamin C. I feel like it's gonna ward off any bugs that might be coming to us on this trip. Probably gonna be quite intense. Oh, it's definitely got sugar in it. It's delicious. Guy has a piece of fresh pineapple and she is clearly loving it. So that's such a win. We just stumbled upon this little market around the corner from where we were getting food before. Just thought we'd try some fresh juice and fresh fruit and have a bit of a wander through and so glad we did. wandering through and everybody is saying hi to Gaia, it is so cute. The old guys are wanting to give her high fives and waving in. She makes friends everywhere she goes and it's so cool to see. The two drinks and the big slice of pineapple that we got, it was $4.80. So I think that's pretty reasonable for two super refreshing fresh juices and some pineapple for Gaia. One of the more difficult things about coming to all these hawker places is that we're obviously a plant-based family so if you're vegan, vegetarian, whatever you want to call yourself, it's a lot harder to come and just have whatever you want. However, there's always loads of good options. The Indian food here is amazing and a lot of it is vegetarian and if you walk around you can usually see some vegan or vegetarian options on a lot of the menus so just have a look, make sure you look at all of the places and you'll find something really good. It's our last night in Singapore and we've come back to our favourite hawker which is called Lao Pasa and the reason we really like it is because it's got lots of vegetarian and vegan options for us. Really easy for me and Renata and also super easy for Gaia because they have some western things which she'll really like. Even though she's done really well with trying all the different foods, sometimes she just wants some pasta or something like that. I honestly just love this place. It's got so much choice. There's cuisine for anybody, basically. Traveling with a toddler is amazing and also hard. We tag team and so Guy and I have been hanging out at the table and Josh went off to get us some drinks and some food. Well, and he came back with two delicious juices, apple and orange and guava and pineapple. I don't love how much plastic is used here, but we're rolling with it. He's also just come back with two delicious Indian dishes from the vegetarian Indian place just next to where we're sitting. We're gonna challenge those now. One looks like a dosa and Gaia is obviously already getting involved in it. She has been such an awesome eater on this trip and tried everything and we say this on every video but we're just so proud of her she's doing so well and such a good little traveler is that nice guy guy do you like it Guy has honestly done so well eating food wherever we've gone. She just gets stuck in and absolutely goes for it. And I'm so proud of her. We weren't sure how she was gonna go while we were traveling. She's just done incredible. What a perfect little traveler she is. Uh, just got some samosas. Hang on, hang on. You can have some water. Ba. Wind, ba. wind, ba. wind, and go. Pre-neck snap, Pre-neck snap.